There we go. I have reduced my overall weight. Yeah. Now I just gotta run all the way down the hill. This is a safe thing to do. Uh. <laughs> oh, look, look, there's a bridge. It is kind of Whee! fun, like, running down a slight slope if you have nothing to run into. Yeah. At, at a great risk to yourself. I'm, I'm always at a great risk to myself. Hey, my hood's down. I need, I need help. I'm always a risk to myself. I need help. That's my secret. I'm always a risk to myself. So I'm not surprised by anything. How did you lose this? On the bridge. I'm confused. All right. My I'll dog give, wants to I'll, say hi, I'll, but she keeps licking the air, and so it's gonna make bad noises on the on the mic. <laughs> Sorry if you guys hear that. It's my dog licking the air in front of my face. Your dog licks forcefully. She licks the air. Ow. She has one eye, so she can't see that she's not licking my face. Your dog licks with like chameleon, like percussion, percussiveness. She's overly lovey. You just have to provide her with a surface to like to lick so that it'll be quiet. So she licks the air, like flicks back, and then falls back on itself and claps. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if she does it because she wants to look my face. Tongue so fat it claps. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Your dog's got a tongue that claps. Oh. <laughs> Yo. Okay, okay. Oh shit, I'm gonna die. I looked at the dog for one second and looked back down to see him fucking <laughs> like ice man sliding down the slope. Like it's a so pro. Cute. You can't help it. Is that a cairn? I think so. Uh, or a hand? Or a, yeah, I don't know. It's so hard to catch, it's hard to make out. Do I need to catch my breath? I think I'm fine. I, I think that like, I guess you could probably recover the dotted line part of your meter if you rest. I've never, I've actually really haven't been taking any advantage of resting mechanics. I just rest in my you bedroom. Sleep anywhere? You can sleep when you die. No, I, I like I only ever seem to rest in the buildings by going to bed. Mm. Oops. I've been. I was telling Keith like I have the problem where now I can fall asleep literally anywhere oh, because no. my sleep schedule is so fucked up. Congratulations, you have depressing superpower. Yeah, no, but it's bad. Like I like we'll be. I'll be driving home somewhere with someone, and I'll be in the passenger seat, and they're like. I'm like, I'm gonna fall asleep. They're like, you can't fall asleep. You're not gonna fall asleep. And I'm like, give me like literally 30, sec 30 seconds. And I'm out, out, out. I can sleep on a train, on a plane. I can sleep like on the floor. If I, if I lay on the floor right now, I can fall asleep in like 20 seconds. I do not like green eggs and ham. I will not sleep it. I will not do it on a plane. I will not do it on a train. But like the opposite. The opposite, <laughs> yeah. I can sleep at any time of day. With the sunlight blaring on my face, I leave my blinds open. I fall asleep at like three o'clock in the afternoon. What do you think? Do you think this is supposed to look at it like something? Um. There's such a weird building. A structure. giant wolf face, and it's his nose, and the bridge logo is its eye. Like it's such a particular shape. I keep wondering if it's supposed to look like something. I don't think it's really supposed to look like anything. I think it just looks. It's a giant stapler. Futuristic. The staple's a metaphor for staplers. For connecting. <laughs> for connecting us. Oh like my everything god. Else. Forcefully by stabbing people. That's how I make friends. You stab them until they're connected. Remember that's how I met you. Oh no. I still never healed. Never nope. will. Hop, hop, hop. This is the strangest goddamn game. Up and up and up, I'm, up, I'm up, still not up, over up. what I'm playing to some extent. I really wish you'd let me see what the art was. I'm a nerd. Nope. Art's not for enjoying, it's for commodifying. I love Animal Crossing because I can collect fine art. Well, what? if it ain't well, the guy we- too. If, Fuck you too! Fuck you too, asshole! If it ain't the guy we commissioned to do this. Wow. Exciting. You're not exactly a story-heavy quest. You just go get the boxes, and you go to the same place you already went to before, and Can't even like, give me a fucking smile, like, Victor! Yeah. You didn't fuck it up, I guess. Not like a nice to see ya. Come on, dude. 
A. Oh no. It's cause I did sleep for an entire day in the middle. We're slowly increasing more and more bandwidth. Victor Franks provided data for the following Luden's mask framed color, yellow. Uh, is that the uh, glasses you have? I don't know. Luden's mask. It might be the glasses you have. Maybe you have yellow glasses now. It's pretty cool. New hologram data, Victor Frank. So I think that's why people have weird hologram people at their stuff. Like you can put Victor Frank on your bridge or something. It's like, why that's happening? Why? I don't want him. I don't know. It's He's not weird. a character I like. It's a weird thing in general. You know, the only thing, the thing I do like about him is he doesn't talk too much. They could smile at me. I would like that. Tell me what to do. I guess that was kind of a smile. New order available. Please access I need new shoes. Mama needs a new pair of shoes. Yep. I've already got a spare, but I always want to. I, I want to always have a spare, or else. There is kind of something really like terrible about having one pair of tennis shoes and then having them like rip or something. Yeah. You're like, how can I be functional now? To the boot clip with ya. Yeah, the, uh, I, I fell into kind of a trap where I was, I was trying to... I came out of a theater and it was raining, and I came to the realization that my my shoe soles had completely flattened on the bottom from being used too much. Oh, so yeah. I just had slick feet. And so I walk out into the rain, and I was just sliding. And there was nothing I could do about it. And I'm like, I need to buy shoes now. Did you <laughs> so fall I, on your ass? Uh, no, but it was constantly a risk. There was, <laughs> there was many close calls. And it just became a thing where like I just had to make a trip. Like I had to go somewhere to buy shoes immediately. That was just what my day was now. Because I was, I was just perpetually at risk. And it was a problem. I, uh, I like, because of my job, I run through shoes like constantly. Like maybe like every couple months. Damn. Yeah, well, I walk a lot. Yeah. One pair of shoes for me will last like a couple years. Oh, man. No, I, I think six months is like my average. I have to buy at least, at least like two or three pairs a year. One of my big, th one of my things for being an adult was like, I get to pick my own shoes. No one can make me have laces now. <laughs> and I just haven't bought shoes with laces. Well, most <laughs> like jobs will make you have shoes with laces. For like the last six years or whatever, I haven't had shoes with laces. And I'm like, yeah. I've got some really kick-ass shoes. Won. <laughs> I won. I you won. You don't want the one with the lights on them? There's an exclamation them? point. I guess I'll go down here. I guess you're obligated. You, do I don't what? Get the ones with the lights. If they the made lights. grown up get ones light with up lights, shoes. I would wear I'm them. I'm gonna get light up Heelys with no laces. Hell yeah. That sounds safe. That's fucking sick. And I'll be gelling. Je like a felon, Helen. Yeah. Remember and also commercials. And there'll be little 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 windmills will stick out of them. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> and they go. And you want <laughs> those little swirly laces. Those little ones that you just pull. <laughs> the ones that look like pigtails or whatever. Yay! I've gone mad with power. And also, and also I'll eat cake and ice cream every day. Like the childhood fantasy. <laughs> I can do anything. I can play video games all day. I don't have to wear shoelaces. And I can eat ice cream for all day. Every it's like the it's like that's always like the big come up in lesson. It's like the kid that that's like my parents aren't here. I can find you anything. And then the episodes like them reaping the like all the consequences of those yeah. choices. It, uh, I've got a tummy ache. Cause like that's a really charitable version of what actually will happen to you. Uh, burglars come, you get robbed, you get kidnapped, you get sold in the black market. Jesus like. Christ! I was thinking like <laughs> diabetes, but okay, you took it to a way, oh, yeah, sorry. way more less directly related dark place. I got a mosquito bite. Um, you ever read those little like little critters books? Little critters books? Yeah. This is a little, like a little hairy, hairy monster guy. Hairy monster if you, guy. If you saw it, you'd recognize it. But some of the people in the audience will know what I'm talking about. There's one, the, my favorite, my favorite one is the, there's one where he decides that he's going to not have parents anymore. And he like, it's like, like, he just like goes crazy and he becomes like an evil villain. And he, his whole house turns into like a haunted house and 
and I don't know, at the end he like, no one's here to tuck me into bed, and he cries. Oh. Yeah, the only monster thing that comes to mind is uh, where the wild things are. Oh. That's basically it. I love that one. Uh -huh. Don't be shy. Uh oh. Just like we used to. Uh oh. Come on. Keep up. And that's why she's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Tragic dancing accident. Sorry. Did I wake you up? Today's mommy's birthday. A little unhinged here. How long has he been in this room? I'm assuming he's leaving. It's starting to feel like he's trapped here or something. I, I think he just comes back. Mom's also in an egg. Is the, is that why I got an exclamation point? Is it was it because you, you I get had, a cutscene? I had bridge baby story. Maybe. I thought that somebody was gonna want to talk to me when I went down there or something. Instead, it was just I, we saw that happening. <laughs> that experience happened to us. That was definitely worth it. No, oh, no orders for Sam. Sam, double check the order summary. Delivered a remote area. One or more. Does that mean I can take more than they? Yeah, oh, it's just deliver a bunch of metal. So you can take even more with you or something. I'm confused. I thought we were- About what part? I thought we were here when they gave us a message about the weird glowing people. I may have lost track of where that mission where that mission's located. Hmm. Huh. Maybe I will go across the lake. So I don't think I have that mission. I think I lost track of where of which place I had it. It might have been the place back across the hill. I don't know. I don't know. I can tell you. I don't know if I can bring myself to go across that hit, that mountain for like the third time in a row. No. So maybe I'll just... Let's just go across the lake. Let's just see what a boat is like. I'm sure there won't be any kind of Lovecraftian tentacled monster that, that, that tries to attack us as we cross it. Oh, definitely not. A nice change of scenery over here yeah. at Rico Harbor. Still trying to destroy these shoes. They have to earn their place <laughs> in my shoe graveyard. <laughs> <laughs> the cemetery. Some some person out my there. My shoe cemetery. Keeps all their old shoes after they fall apart and they just have like a collection of old shoes that they can't bear to part with because of the I memories. Do th I do that, but not for shoes. What do you do that with then? I have a box that has all my glasses in them. Oh, that's kind of cute. Gonna catch a ride They're expensive. <laughs> yeah. Before you do, be aware that you'll have to leave behind any cargo you haven't gotten around to delivering. It'd be a shame to abandon something important, though, especially if you were close to finishing a run. My advice, put that stuff in your private locker in Port Knot City. Or, if you're feeling responsible, you could just delay your boat trip until you've tied up loose ends. It's your call. Well, that's kind of just throwing shade at us, I think. Yeah, I don't think I have any packages to deliver. I just have like my my body grenades. My grenades made of me. My love bombs. <laughs> really put myself out there. My whale destroyers. Oh my god. We have a whale of a time. <laughs> who's? I don't think anyone says that anymore, Keith. But yeah, I think I think on some level it's like. I don't want my glasses to- what if my glasses break? These ones are like my previous prescription, like they still kind of work. So it's like, on some no, level, you, like, do you think you'll that. revert to the old ones, but- But then I have like four generations of them, and it's like, ah, oh, they're still here. Snack? Ah! Hey, creeper. You haven't done she anything. She likes to eat these in front of us. Stop it. Through, then. I don't break that easy. Name notwithstanding. You saw that asshole too, right? Higgs. He's the leader of a separatist group. What a bozo. Seemed to me like he was controlling that BT. That's level seven for you. Higher, maybe. 
Seems like you know a lot about them. Used to work together. Guess you could say we had a contract. You did business with terrorists? Whoever pays, huh? He wasn't like that back then. I'm sure what her accent is. So what's your angle? You want to save the world or you want to fuck it all up like him? What? I wish I... I just wish things were different, all right? Here's all right. I just realized her umbrella looks like broken glass. Yeah, she's, she's fragile. fragile. I hate her umbrella. I do too, but I like the symbol. The symbol Visually, cool. it looks cool, but like a lot of it, she still floats. A lot of it doesn't fit together. Like it would drip on her. Yeah. And one drip on. makes you There's age. No cargo left. I like I'm saying in this world, I would just I would not. I'd be episode covering three, my fragile. that pretty pretty face. Cover that pretty face, girl. In a different universe, I'd be like, ha, yay, fun umbrella. Kind of impractical, but who cares? Water doesn't do anything in it's reality. Water. <laughs> but in this game, reality kills you. Per it, permanently, it permanently progresses your aging. So, like, I'm like, this is fucked up. Why is your umbrella stupid? <laughs> get, a, get a not stupid umbrella, stupid. I don't care if it looks stupid. If it works, it works. Get a giant old lady umbrella. <laughs> Like the one I have in the trunk. It's like way too big. <laughs> yes. Keith will be safe in case it, it, time rains on us. But I'm fucked if it ever rains and has wind. <laughs> yes. Yeah, what about that? should get there tomorrow. Did I say you could stand next to me? Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, this. Phoebe's the only friend he needs. What the fuck was that? Was that a glitch? I think, I think it was. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh yeah, wait. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh. I told you before, Sam. <laughs> the past just won't let go. <laughs> the rope just won't let go. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, guys, this kind of ruins the moment. <laughs> Listen, I have something to ask of you. It ropes a metaphor. It has to do with that asshole. For connections. Higgs. He fall asleep? He's so tired. He did. Poor baby. He's me. I'm Higgs. This little Higgs and all of us. I was so confused when I saw the rope vibrate clipping through the floor and then fly away. <laughs> and then it just kind of became the photo. How Sam. bizarre. Sam. Yeah, so the sister's face is all rubbed off. Yeah, she. Something. Do you remember? Something bad. She's your mom. Your sister and your mom are the same person. She's pregnant with you in the picture while you're standing in the picture, also. I don't know. <laughs> you really thought that sentence through? I, I would not even be surprised if that was the actual truth. Oh my god. What is this age gap? It's almost time to go, Sam. Well, she's like, you got older, you look great. I had no idea until you told me. 
me. No idea that I was alive. Living is no different from being dead if you're all alone. How do you not know you're alive? I don't want to go home. I don't want to go home. Here, it's a dream catcher. Wear it when you sleep, and I'll keep the nightmares away. I'll always be with you. Did you forget how to go home? Come on, I'll take you halfway, and then you can do the rest by yourself. You would think she would say, like, I didn't even know I was dead. Like, that's the surprise. Better now? I'll be waiting for you on the beach. Come and find me. So she's you, dead? You would think you would assume being alive is the default. Like she's stuck on the beach, whatever that means? So one of them is dead and the other one's alive? I don't know which one's which, though. We used to play together a lot in this place. You brought me here. I couldn't make the trip on my own. So long as you have a body to return to, you can't come and go as you please. So you can't just come back east through here. So she's dead. Not until you make us whole again, Sam. I'll be waiting for you on the beach. Come and find me. Yeah, I'm still confused about every aspect of the beach yeah. and what it means and what she is and what's happening there. See, part of me would say, oh, that's kind of romantic, but they're fucking siblings. Yep. So that's how I know this scene has a problem. Something's wrong. There's something's something wrong. really weird and fucking going on there. <laughs> it's okay. We already have fragile waifu and her old bod. I like her better anyway. I like her cool jacket and her I was gonna say, little face. You like her because you want that jacket and hair. <laughs> I don't want that hair. The hair wouldn't suit me. The jacket with the weird spikes, the party spike, like raver jacket. Yeah, that's rad. It's a rad jacket. Press the button and they inflate. They keep saying we're at 100% and then not continuing. This one just started at 100%. Like, I don't know what they think oh. those percentages mean. They just feel like you, you feel like you need to wait because that's yeah. how games work. I don't know how you sleep. Need to pick me up? Gosh, she fucking is. You're pushy. She, she likes to eat those in front of us. What are you implying? Welcome to Lake Knot City. What? Nothing. Let's go. Do you lose the? Do you lose the? Where's BB? Did she lose? He lose the picture. Where's BB? Is BB not on him? No. Oh shit. He put BB down. Remember? Is BB in a BB containment center? I just get worried in like movies. Like I said, babies are always a liability in movies and stuff. So dogs too. I was like, where? Oh, there, there. Okay, BB's on him. This BB's car on goes him. from Port Nut City, bound for Lake Knot. I'll leave these up to you. The dispatch terminal is up ahead. In the meantime, I've got some business to attend to. Later, alligator. Yeah, I like her better. Later, alligator. Later, alligator. After a while, Norman Reedus. Yeah. <laughs> After a while, Jared. 
Stop. Stop. <laughs> Thankfully, you'll forget this joke next session. <laughs> I'm not gonna fucking remember it. I don't care. I'm so mad. I don't even remember what you're mad about. You called me Ashley. <laughs> That's why I don't remember. Because it was me make, me forgetting something in the first place. Bitch. <laughs> But Ashley, Ashley can speedrun Subnautica. I don't care who it is. Nobody <laughs> is me except for me. Nobody's me, but... <laughs> you can't fucking replace me. Nobody's me except for me. Those are Amazon. Those are USPS packages. Yes. Explicitly and clearly. Gotta check on the baby. How you done, baby? <laughs> Shake the baby. Why are my packages glowing? Because you got super legs. That's never happened before, has it? No. I got super packages. I hope I get super legs. I want to get like a uh, exoskeleton that carries items around, so I have like ten times the carrying capacity, and maybe like start doing some Iron Man shit. Like that machine from uh, Alien. Yeah, the the uh, the loader, the yeah, power loader. Yeah, the power loader. Whoop. Hit. I'm now carrying stuff for them that's literally inside their facility already. <laughs> this game makes perfect sense. Welcome to the stairs. Oh, welcome to the stairs song. <clears throat> they call patience. It's telling you to be fucking patient. Yeah. Apparently, stairs are too hard for me. Who knew? Uh, Maybe it needs to be balanced better. You've lived a long life, Keith. You think you'd know that stairs are a problem for you already? Shh. Keith is never inclined. This feels He's like always stayed at, at, at sea level consistently. Have, making me climb a very tall staircase while playing a song feels like a callback to Snake Eater. Yeah. What a thrill. Why are its, it's, its wheels are crossed out? Like it's locked. Uh, I thought those were just aesthetics. Help, it's a compulsion. Somebody help me, I need help. It's unhealthy to behave this way around cargo. Auto stack that shit. I don't trust myself. <laughs> Nobody should trust me with packages, I do this. <laughs> Ha 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 I have conquered this problem. Those packages can fuck off. I could almost use lyrics subtitles. Why? Because I can't understand these songs. But, but do you want to? I don't know. So after last. It might be very on the nose lyrics. I, maybe. It looks like we're gonna have to go to a, a highway to hell. <laughs> and they just play highway to hell. I love that. If that happened right now. Oh god. I, uh, All you have to do is watch Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief. That's every music cue in oh, the entire fucking movie. It's up there with like the first 10 minutes of Suicide Squad where every oh, single no. obvious cue happens. Like they go into a casino and Poker Face plays. Oh, and I'm like, no. fuck you. <laughs> I quit. <laughs> You'll never be Harry Potter. After last time, uh, talking about Radiohead, I, I found my OK Computer CD and I played that on my way to work and my way back today. So fucking good. If you want, like, basically what this is kind of trying to be with, like, ambient, ambient, like, atmospheric soundscape music, but with a tinge of, like, anxiousness and paranoia and dread, then you want Radiohead, for sure. Ooh, construction. OK Computer is amazing. That, that title's been ruined for me now. Why? It sounds too much like OK Boomer. No, don't ever say <laughs> that to I've me again. I've ruined it for you. Don't ever say that again. I've ruined Kate. it for Jared. you. Jared. Jared. <laughs> what a Jared move. Fucking Jared's a dick. <laughs> We're trying to ruin OK Computer. I'm going to get comments a year from now calling me Jared and I won't understand what they're talking about. I hope it happens. You inflicted me about this upon me. Hey, if you're, if you're what, watching this in 2021, please put a comment in the comments calling uh, Jared a Jared 
Oh my god, I think it happened. And me, not an Ashley, because I'm not an Ashley. I think it happened because I had a rope equipped in my hand. And you just, you just ruined the cutscene because yeah, you know. I think I think what I think I might glitch out and show what's ever in your hand. So I had I had a, a rope equipped in my hand when I walked into that. Conf confusing. Like I kept leaning and then standing back up, and once I was back to normal, he he would be like, he would pull out his item he's holding again. And I'm like, what? What are, you, what are you holding there? And I realized he's he's got a little rope, his strand. He's made of his own blood. <laughs> no, what I was gonna say is uh, I think that, I think. Oh, I don't want to say this because if I'm wrong, I'm be vilified. Just assume you're wrong. I think in Dead Man Wonderland, which is an anime, I think they fight with their blood, too. <laughs> I think that's the one name of it. I think in Persona 3, they fight by shooting themselves in the head. That's cool. Like, Persona! <laughs> and then they summon their Personas. But the one I'm thinking of, they like, weird. they, yeah, he, like, he could take part, he could cut himself and take his blood out and use it to fight, but you actually, like, lose blood as you're fighting. It's a high stakes method. That's an approach. Sounds like a sounds like a JoJo episode. I don't even get me started on that shit. <laughs> don't. I'll talk for days. We're watching you both the whole way. I hate to be a hard ass, but I've got to ask. Everything you're transporting a boat board? Nothing dangerous or illicit. Oh, he doesn't trust I'm sure you. Check you on the way in, but I'm gonna have to take a second look. Oh, he's he's uh, judging you. Who right do you now. think I am? You look like a punk, a little ponytail. We want, we wouldn't want you doing any crimes with the no America that exists. <laughs> I like like that part in Fight Club where he's like, we had to check because your suitcase was vibrating, and he's like, is it a vibrator? Well, it's like nine times out of ten, it's an electric toothbrush, but uh -huh. one time out of ten, <laughs> and that's what, that's what it's implied. <laughs> we can now use ceramics. I must. I guess that does something. Probably just a new resource to pick up and carry around. Damn! Instantly two star. Like wow, things are picking up our garbage and bringing it in. Sorry for profiling you. <laughs> Here's some likes. Oh my god, I can't press X enough. <laughs> I am on a bike now. In my picture, I have an elite handler. Damn. Whoa. I have a modest but growing reputation as the savior of the United States. Congrats. <laughs> It's so back and forth that it's confusing to parse. Sorry for the hassle. Can't be too careful these days. Oh, we heard you were carrying a cupid. Is that right? You're clear to link us up. Join the internet. Norman Reedus should just be like, Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? Haha. <laughs> now, now you're old Team Instinct and you can't quit. <laughs> Both he and his little device assume like a Jesus pose. Whoa. What? You went really far. Whoa, it's cold here. <laughs> huh. That was very far. Boats are useful. It looks like this is going to be a much more open map now. The other one was like a line, which is kind of a bummer. Well, I'm just glad to see other, uh, um, like, other scenery. The lake at Ground Zero. Was Ground Zero here? Well, yeah, I think it's the giant crater, remember? Or yeah. we near the giant crater? That giant crater might be so it. I thought Ground Zero was the beach, though. We won't hold anything back. Capital Not Studio will get everything. If all this info sharing makes everyone safer, I'm all for it. You can bet I'm not the only one here who feels that way. I suppose it was better when Bridges 1 first came this way. At least I don't remember terrorists and BTs making our lives difficult back then. Well, be careful out there. The world's not what it used to be. And thank you. Finally made it past Ground Zero, Sam. What? Congratulations. And thank you. It'll only get harder from here, though. About to go around. When we first came through, it was different. Peaceful. The three cities out there, Lake, Middle, and South Knot, were all on board with our plans for reconstruction. Fragile Express was contracted by all three and kept supplies moving and people connected. But that all changed a year ago when the Separatists carried out their attacks. 
One took out Metal Knot City. They detonated nukes from the old days. Half of South Park City went up in the other. Casualties were devastating. Bridges doesn't have the resources to link up the remaining cities on its own. We need to secure the support of everyone, even those who want nothing to do with the UCA. Impossible as that may seem. The situation has changed dramatically since Bridges 1 first went west. The destruction of Middle Nod in particular forced us to adapt a new strategy. It's like Amelie said, we don't have the time or resources to construct another knot on that scale. That's why we've taken to cutting deals with preppers and the like. Our only recourse is to utilize their shelters to bolster the strength of the network. It takes a special kind of person to live out here on their own. The kind that'll tell us to fuck off if we ask him to join the UCA. Oh, we know. No one's expecting them to say yes up front. But even if they don't like dealing with most people, they got on okay with Fragile Express. Don't tell me. You want us to use her credentials to get in good with them? Bingo. She's agreed to it, too. And in exchange, she gets... Nothing, really. A chance to get back at Higgs, I suppose. I can't blame her for warning one. He took everything from her and then some. Time healed some wounds, but not hers. The work ahead won't be simple or easy, but it needs doing. Get some rest for now. We'll talk more later. Your work is... Ah, loud. <laughs> I was like... Reflexively listening to the, what the background voice was saying really quietly in the background. It's like, your work is appreciated. Ah! Like loud ass, <laughs> nightmarish, lay loud elevator starts moving. So keep, oh, damn it. Jared, are you happy? Because you're not, you're not <laughs> greasy as you're laying down in bed this time. Yeah. Because I went on a boat ride. Yeah. I just slept the whole way here and now I'm sleeping again. Wait, are you getting a cutscene? Yep. We're back on the beach again. I haven't even played yet. <laughs> ah. Wait, I think. I think Ground Zero and the beach are both the same place. I think the beach is the giant crater and not the East Coast, like I assumed it was. Oh. I always thought this was the ocean, but I think it's just that huge circle. Here. For me? It's called a keep room. It means not in old words. Old words? You can also use it to count stuff. I had a knot when I make a friend. Okay. How do you make that? Then how about I add another knot every time I see you? Did you make that in your class where you make chain mail? Yeah, I was gonna say, that's pretty elaborate for a kid to make. This must be very important to you if you were able to bring it here. Very special. It is special. I made it for you. I'll treasure it, Sam. What are you? Yeah. What like are you? Like I have some you? kind of sister that's lived there her whole life as a weird like specter. It's a pterodactyl tattoo. But she also went to the west coast, so she's not trapped there. Why are you here? I don't fucking know. Don't Ask your boss. Is now. she your sister? I don't know. Uh, no. I mean, why are you here? Got a delivery for a porter. You're gonna need this on the road ahead. This will ID you as an associate of Fragile Express. It's woven from my blood and chiral crystals. Think of it as a kind of bond. <laughs> That's kind of stalkery. Preppers around these parts won't give you trouble so long as you've got it. We were the only people making deliveries out here. This was our territory. Until Higgs fucked it all up. Me? The Express? Our reputation. All of it. And now you want to fuck him back. Whoa. <laughs> On your own. Or you, though, maybe. I'm not on my own. <laughs> I've got the my cave. umbrella. Port not seedy. Yeah, open that inside. Next to your bed. Oh, gosh. So far apart, yet somehow we keep meeting. All that BT country in between where it should have been caught in a void out. Yet here I am. 
Your umbrella. How do you work? Here I am. Are you a boss fight later? You can use the beach. I have a beach. You've got yours. I've got mine. I use it to jump across space. I can't conjure up BTs the way Higgs can, but I can go after him, chase him to the beach. Problem is, everyone's got their own way in. I'm only allowed to pass through the beach I know and understand. I'm sure you've heard the term multiverse. I get more complicated. I know she's dying every time she does it. The jumps take a lot out of me. Suck my blood dry. Yeah, that's not even the right type of blood. It's like black. Yeah. You're going to Edge Not City, right? Place is full of terrorists. But if you're dead set on it, then you're gonna have to deal with heat sooner or later. Look, I make deliveries, killing monsters and terrorists. It's not what I do. What if we did it together? I could use my power to help you. We don't have to want the same thing to be on the same side. I could send you across my beach to any place the Kyrelians thick enough, any place connected to the Chiral network. And what do you expect in return? I expect you to think it over. And adopt me as your sister too. <laughs> I want to. I want in on all that. Want in on all that incest too. stuff. If you want to work for me, you have to wear a vial of my blood. And call me if you need me. I think that's cute. She has a fucking umbrella that looks like a ship from Star Fox. It does, actually. Like, that's exactly what it looks like. Oh, now you get to keep it. What? Okay. Okay, babe. Don't you need that to live? <laughs> I guess she teleports, so I have more questions. I guess uh, she just likes to show off her umbrella. It was does. never it was never functional. It was always silly. <laughs> fragile jump. But I wonder if that means I can now teleport to certain yeah. Fragile can instantly teleport for you to an distribution center or a safe house within the area covered oh, by the nice. file network. There you go. Okay, so that's yeah. how you get I was wondering, like, cause we took a we took a, a boat here. Yeah. Like did we just say goodbye to the entire game before now? No bike for you ever again. But it's like now I can travel. All I'm you are carrying will be placed in a private locker. So you have to tell you teleport to a place but you can't use it for deliveries. Mm -hmm. But I can teleport to the starting point of a, of any quest now. So this is actually a really good thing to pick up as opposed to before where I was like I looked at my quest log and I'm like Oh, that quest I was thinking of, it just isn't here. Yeah. I don't know where it is. Yeah. <laughs> now I can teleport to where it starts instead of like walking around. Which also means that if that if there's no more quests at Port City, I don't have to climb that mountain ever again. Good. So that's good news too. So we have a teleport now. Cool, dude. That's interesting. I have so many questions about all the things in this game, but that's normal. Yeah, that's never gonna I end. I guess. It's gonna go on. How many until... weird necklaces am I gonna have at the end of this game? I'm gonna have You're my... just collecting jewelry from all your yeah. girlfriends. Is it on my wrist? Is that what she gave me? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a, it's a bracelet. Okay. Well, it, yeah. I thought it was gonna go on my neck, and it's gonna be uh, it was... like every every chapter, I'm gonna have a new rope around my. You have neck. a new, new girlfriend. So have a new jewelry. Yeah, you make more and more connections to people, and they all, they're all manifested as this as the. The fuck are you doing? <laughs> what? <laughs> What? Norman. All right. Are you... Are you okay? Are you trying out for the OA? The motions? I'll have to show you that sometime. That's just a weird element of that show. But, but he looked like he was doing the motions or something. Uh, but yeah, I thought... I thought... Did you say I love you? What is it? What is that? Like, I think he, like, mouths... That's mouths weird. something at us. I guess we already have the br two bracelets and a necklace are all versions of that, but I kind of thought that each character was going to give us another necklace and we'd have like so many ropes by the end of the game like, to symbolize what's happening. What the fuck is he saying? Are you are you asking me to let take you to the Are you asking me to let oh. you use the restroom? Wait, 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 yeah, maybe. This is his like like toddler like mm, face. <laughs> Well, you're gonna have to wait, Norman Reedus, until next time, because we're taking a break. My, like my controller turn off from how long that cutscene was. Oh, it's because I can't pause. You have to go here to pause. There you go. Okay, bye. You're gonna save the guy. Bye, Jared. No.